Popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Pops. Today we are going to cook popcorn chicken. Let's get started. These are the ingredients we'll be using for today's recipe. For a full list of ingredients, please check the description box at the bottom of the video. I have in my hand one pound of chicken breast. I've cut them into small pieces and I've marinated it with half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of lemon juice and two tablespoons of yogurt. And I've kept it for two hours. I bought this lamb bran batter bowl. This bowl can be used for battering, breading or marinating. Written on these sides are the directions on how to use this bowl and the specs on the product. This bowl comes in three pieces and I'll show you how to use it. I'll be making my breading mix in this batter bowl. This is four tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of breadcrumbs, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of paprika. I'll blend this batter nicely. So the mix is good. I call this batter, but it's actually breading. This looks pretty well done. It's almost time to cook now, and I've taken about four mugs of oil in this pot and I'm going to start heating it up on high heat. As the oil is heating, we'll start our breading. First thing you do is put this on top. Next we'll put chicken on it. This is the first batch of chicken we are cooking. This is almost half the chicken. Now I'll put the lid on the top. Next, I'll pick it up and turn it around. So all the batter will go on the other side. And we shake it up. So all the chicken are battered. And then, we'll open this now and see how the chicken is battered. You can now see the chicken is battered, no mess, no spoiling the hand or anything. It's nice and clean and ready to fry. The oil is hot now and I'm going to put chicken in it. We'll cook this for about five to six minutes. This is our first batch and it's half the chicken. It took about 5 minutes and the chicken is ready. I'm breading my second batch now and the advantage of using this box is you can bread a lot of chicken in short time and you don't get your hands dirty. This is round 2 now. Turn around, do it once, turn around, shake it well, a second time, and see how it comes out. Fully breaded. It's time to fry the second batch. It's about 4 minutes now and uh, since the oil was hot, it took a little less time to cook. Looks like it's done. All the popcorn chicken is now ready. 
Now I'll make a quick dipping sauce for popcorn chicken with 1 tablespoon of hot mustard, 2 tablespoons of mayonnaise and 2 tablespoons of yogurt. Yogurt, mayonnaise, hot mustard. Mix it well. Here's your delicious dipping sauce. This is our finished popcorn chicken ready to eat along with our homemade dipping sauce. And sprinkle a little bit of dry mint to give accent to the dipping sauce. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so and remember to hit the bell button so you are notified each and every time we post a new video. If you have any comments, leave them for us below in the comment section. And remember to share this video with all of your friends. Until next time. Okay, it's time for the taste test. Let's give it a go. Sure. Dipping sauce with the homemade hot mustard in here too. Mmm. Turned out very good. Mmm. Excellent. Mmm. Homemade popcorn chicken is the best. Nice tasting chicken with good texture in it. Excellent taste. Crispy on the outside. Soft and chewy on the inside. And with the dipping sauce you get a nice little kick. All these different flavors is amazing. Don't forget to try it at home. Agreed. She's looking right inside. Mm. Mm. Ah, it's mine, it's mine.